welcome to Tuner Tips by Todderbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then please subscribe and tap the bell icon <laughs> so you don't miss any future videos. You guys heard the drill. I just like to say it every time. It's a good deal. Uh, in front of me, I have a really cool product from C Crane, the FM Transmitter 2. Definitely awesome for a Tuner Tips episode. Transmits any audio to any FM radio without wires. Can you guys just imagine what you can do with this? Uh, I knew this existed for cars. I really didn't know they existed for the home. I never really thought about it until I started doing reviews <laughs> on radios and I had to go through the FM band real fast because I was afraid to get copyright, uh, you know, copyright warnings. So I'm like, I got to think of something that I can, you know, play some music, transmit it to the FM radio so I, you know, my listeners can hear the audio capability and I'm like, there's got to be something and I found it. This works out great. So here you go. Talking more about what I can do. There's your company. More stuff. Features. Timer. That's cool. Battery strength meter. Okay. So all this fun stuff. I pretty much hook it to the AC adapter. So don't worry about batteries. But it is portable, which is another bonus. You can use it in the car, park, wherever you're at. I think it's great. All right. So let's go ahead and show what's in the box. So in the box, we get some stuff. We get the AC adapter, which is great. You don't have to worry about batteries all the time. Bonus. And it's a linear power supply, so it doesn't produce any noise. Had really good luck with this the other day, and I'll explain what that was about in a little while. Um, let's see. What else we got? We got... I know I had an adapter here somewhere. Here's the manual. Ah, here's the adapter. So they give you an RCA stereo adapter. So that's a nice one. Hook it up to... Uh, Bigger equipment, cool. Stereo it does do stereo, which is great. Um, here's the manual, pretty much basic. Tells you everything you need to know. On the back here is really good. We've got dimensions. We'll go over. There's the frequency response, 40 hertz up to 15. Uh, looks like 15 kilohertz. This is the big one. First set of batteries, uh, two double uh, A's, last 120 hours. That is amazing. Uh, I did not think it would last that long. So yeah, this is really cool. So, and then I got different tips on making it transmit better. I talk about placing it on a metal filing cabinet or refrigerator. Cool. So you get that, and you get a warranty card. What else do you get? I think it's about it in the box. And we get the transmitter. There it is. This little guy. It's pretty small. Yeah, I like it. So dimension wise. Three and a quarter inches wide, three and a half inches high, depth of an inch. We got this little baby antenna up here, <laughs> and this extends out to what is this? Eleven inch, so pretty short antenna. But I, I get good coverage with this, and I'll explain the coverage too in a little bit. Uh, and we'll go over features. On the left side here, we got audio in. It's a fixed cable. It's pretty long, as you can see. Yeah, very very long. Uh, here's your DC in. Looks like it goes 3 to 6 volts. That's kind of nice. So you can use different adapters. On the front, you saw the antenna. Swivels 360. It's pretty cool because this unit can stand, sit like this flat with the antenna straight up. Or you can have it sit like this with the antenna straight up. Or pivot it however you need to. So I like that. Nice, nice options. Uh, so C crane embossed on the top there. We got a power switch. And we have a uh, level indicator. We have tuning, and we have a yeah tuning up and down buttons. Little rubber feet. Input level knob on the side. Again, pretty basic stuff. Back here, they go over the input for the batteries. The frequency range 88.3 to 107.7. All right, and then here we have the compartment for the two AA batteries. What we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in my transformer. And we're going to show you how this works. So the main reason why I bought it was to, to do, to show off the audio capabilities of FM radio. So this is it. So go ahead and turn this on. So like I said, 98.1. Uh, you can use radiolocator.com, I believe, and it's in the manual. It'll tell you how to find a, a station that's pretty empty, you know, next to other stations, you know, so you're not having to try to transmit over them because you're not going to be able to. Uh, but I found a nice quiet zone on this frequency. 
go ahead and extend this up. And then there's your battery strength indicator right there. And what we do is, what I do is hook up to my MP3 player. And this is how I do Radio Free Totterbert when you listen to that. So I'll go ahead and turn this on. And we'll see if we can play some music on this so you can see how this works. Okay. So there we go, it's playing. And if you look, you want a nice flashing green light like that. If you turn this input level up higher and higher, the volume gets louder and louder on the station, which is good. But if you go too high, it'll start flashing red. And I'll show you how that what that looks like. Yeah, you don't want it red. So you turn that volume down on the device, and you can also adjust the line level here, which is nice. So there we go. And then you can take like your favorite radio, like I have a CC Pocket here. So you rock out with any FM radio. Uh, this thing, I think it was like 75 feet. I went across the street, went down the street a bit, went down a few houses. So my neighbors can definitely hear this. <laughs> um, it transmits pretty far. I'm surprised. All over the house. I have no dead zone with this, which is amazing. So, really cool. I got this radio here to show you. And then behind the scenes, I have a super radio. Yeah, that's cool. So, my little Sony player now plays through my super radio. <laughs> It's like my Super Sony. <laughs> I love it. Uh, so yeah, I love having this device. Let me show you. And then the cool thing was the other day, I was uh, using my Neo Radio. You guys recognize this one, right? This plays along with this really nice. Now some radios, my portables, they weren't really working too well. It might be the headphone jack thing, like like the ones that are mono, single ear. I, I think it was upsetting the transmitter, so it wasn't transmitting properly. But with this one, both ears mono work really well. So I plugged in the input on this because I was getting Zoomer radio real clear. I was just messing around and I walked over to my computer and usually I can't bring this radio next to the computer because it, uh, you know, on AM the computer just, you know, makes it flake out like crazy. So I had this, you know, away from the computer with the transmitter going and then I took uh, FM radio and brought it with me over to my computer and just set it there and had it play in my Zoomer you know, uh, on the side while I was working on the computer, which I thought was cool instead of just trying to go on their website and do a stream or anything. So that that was neat. I could go anywhere with this radio. I was walking around upstairs listening to Zoomer on here, you know, um, clears the bell through the transmitter, which is really cool. Um, so you could have a, a weak radio on the AM, and if you have a solid radio on the AM broadcasting, it just it made for a fun experience. So that was really cool. So then you had interference-free uh, AM, which I thought it was amazing for me. You know, I loved it. So a lot of things you could probably do. You could probably hook this up to your CC Radio 2E and transmit your uh, AM signals. You know, I just uh, you can have a lot of fun with this. There's just so many possibilities. And one of them, you can check on their site. They have a blog section um, on their website. And a gentleman used this with his Alexa. And he turned the microphone off on the Alexa. And he had this um, next to it. And he had his CC Radio 2E. But he couldn't keep the CC Radio 2E next to it because of the noise from the Alexa switching power supply. So he, he just moved um, the 2E to his room and he used a, an app on his phone to control his Alexa. So he was able to sit there and tune his AM stations on his 2E and then he also could tune in uh, any kind of Alexa broadcast that he wanted to uh, with the transmitter on the FM station. So really cool what this thing can do. Um, a handful of... Gee, sky is the limit. Um, but for you guys who review radios, and you want to showcase FM music on the FM band, you know, get yourself an inexpensive FM transmitter like this, and you can really show off those radios. I mean, it's just amazing. I love it. So there you go. Rock out. And the music ended. <laughs> there we go. So if you like the video, big thumbs up. If you like the product, big thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. Bell icon. Ding, 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 ding. Time to be in the new video. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having fun, guys. It's great. Um, 
And then comment below what you think about having a little mini FM transmitter in the house. This is going to be showcased again. And there's reasons because this channel is expanding its horizons. Uh, I'm going to be showing you different products and different things. And it's just really cool um, to have this device um, in the house. I love it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye.